Tom here from Lawrence Systems and collaboration, the key to cyber protection. I really like that. If you want to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. But right now we're going to talk about takeaways and things that can be done to improve. So yeah, cool. I tweet out articles and so does everybody else and talk about, you know, this breach, that breach, but let's talk about action items. Now, obviously that some of the debriefs on them are very simple things were not done, which is frequently when you do incident response and you dig into it, you're like, they just didn't have the right password or a good password or two-factor authentication on. But let's talk about sometimes there's flaws in products and things like that. And there's a lot more at play, but collaboration, that's where it all comes down to. And if you spend any time at any type of hacking event, you'll find a very open and collaborative group of people. Now the term hacker kind of gets toner, thrown around a lot and uh, it can be good or bad. It kind of depends on whether it's a white hat or a black hat hacker and it really comes down to intention. What is the intention? We actually use the same tools when we're doing a pen test to figure out if a product has a flaw in it. Those same tools will apply for a black hat to go through and decide if there is a flaw in it. The difference is the result. The result in someone with bad intentions is to keep that flaw or share it amongst their uh, peers who are also working to exploit that flaw. And there's even now ransomware as a service. They've uh, followed up a whole business model with affiliate links and everything for doing ransomware. And we need that same collaboration to flow through on the other side. Now it flows through in the hacking community very well, but sometimes in a business community, um, I've seen people throw up some roadblocks in there. It's getting better, but it's just, I wanna remind people this is an important aspect of it. So as we dive into and go through articles like this, like Adversary Exposed, how one uh, MSP was for sale on a dark web and the team over at Huntress Labs, along with some people, uh, Ryan from, Ryan Weeks from Datto, they dove, dove in, figured out who was for sale, stopped the sale of that MSP's information. Now, semi-related to this, but it's also very uh, relevant, is we have seen lots of attacks on ConnectWise. I just did a video uh, yesterday about how to secure it, how to put 2FA on, and that is really important because unfortunately, and through some of these incident response, we find that was missing. But then of course, you dig further at the product for further scrutiny, and Huntress Labs is credited over here at ConnectWise. On February 5th, ConnectWise controls cloud password reset MFA risk has been mitigated. Um, we have verified our mitigation and have asked that Huntress Labs to verify as well. And me and Kyle actually talked about this yesterday, and he was alerted, and this goes back over to here, by Paul Pazdario, I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, uh, from Very Important Power, and John Hardwick from NXIO. And this is that collaborative. They know Kyle had a relationship with ConnectWise in talking about security because of the recent uh, follow-up from Bishop Fox, which was also validated by Huntress Labs. But this is that behind the scenes, putting it together and putting together a whole process by which uh, we can work with these vendors, not to exploit them, not to make fun of them, but to make the product better. And that's what's starting to happen. I'm really happy to see that ConnectWise did this, but these are some of those things that are really important. And to give you a little background, I, here is me over at, and this is, you know, some of my relationship I have with Hunter Slabs. We use the product, but where is also over there at Tradecraft Tuesday, thinking like an attacker. I try to put through this YouTube channel and Huntress is doing much the same through their blog and some of the videos they produce. We're really trying to raise the awareness of security. So you're not just aware that someone got hacked, but aware at how it happened. And of course that can then lead you to go, oh, I might be someone doing those things. So that's a lot of the purpose of this is just to think about the collaboration, to think about you know, how you can share this and read up on this and understand how to contact your vendor if you think there's a thing. And by the way, as much as we work with this and is, you know, Kyle's been doing this a long time. He has an entire, uh, he, this is him uh, talk. He had a DerbyCon three years ago. Uh, Kyle and Chris, founders of Huntress Labs, putting together this. They've been in the hacking community for a long time. Even with the amount of knowledge they have, there's a reason we all reach out to each other to absolutely validate these things and make sure you're right. And this is that collaborative effort that maybe you don't always see on the surface, but is really important in the big picture so we can, you know, all work together on this. And that's all this really is. I know it maybe sounds like just a feel good video. I'll link to these articles on there, but I just want more people to think about the whole working together aspect of it. Cause that is something that I sometimes uh, see walls put up around people not wanting to share things or just 
telling me, uh, click on here and sign up for my webinar and not really talking about uh, the collaborative effort that really goes into cybersecurity. Because trust me, if you're not auditing these tools, if you're not collaborating and sharing you know, information in, relate in regards to security, don't worry, the threat actors are. They're talking about the landscape in these forums. It's very much highlighted in here with the way they're doing it. Um, they're collaborating together to get better at cracking into the tech systems that we use. We have to be collaborating on the other side to help secure and look at each other and look out for each other in this community and space. Uh, thank you very much and uh, appreciate it. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.